Before we start the video, we're just here to say, wear your masks, friends. Okay, let's get started. I don't know if this looks any brighter, but also let's zoom in. Hello. It is currently 6.30, so there's no light. So if there's shadows, we're back. Um, anyways, I have been working all day, so I haven't been able to come and film, but hi, hello, my name is Ruby. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today, we're sort of slowly trying to get back into filming because I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. We have to do some things today. Firstly, I have a package, so. And then I also thought I could just do like a chill chat about the books that I'm currently reading, want to read, all that stuff. I don't know what we should do first though. So maybe, should we do the unboxing first? Just in case no one else wants to stick around to hear my chaotic mood reading. I think that's a good idea. Let me do that thing where you like throw it in there. Today we're here to do a Right Time Crate unboxing. So, if you didn't know, I am a rep for Right Time Crate over on Instagram and... But this is a South African book subscription company. This is my July Curate Your Own Crate box that I chose this stuff for. So, there are other options on the website which I shall leave linked down below. And you can also get a writer's box, but I am going to be repping for the Curate Your Own Crate box. Anyways, August orders are open now, so you should get on that. I'm very excited. I've never been a rep for a box before. Well, I can show you it on camera, so this is very exciting. I actually don't remember exactly what I got. I asked for one of two books, um, so I maybe know what it is, but although I do know what the first little item is. Just before we get into it, let me tell you what you can get. So your choice of candle, your choice of book, and your choice of tea, hot chocolate or coffee, depending on availability. And it's very cool. You can get an add-on book in case you wanted two books. The August selection is really, really great. I have a very exciting book coming. And I think that is all I need to share with you. So, the first item that I chose was the fairy fruit tea. So, take you closer. Is it showing on camera? Let me stand up. Go on. It is not folk, it's kind of focusing. So it's fairy fruit. It's inspired by the cruel prince. I may as well just open and smell. I actually have no idea what's in this tea. I love fruit tea. In South Africa, we have this thing, uh, this kind of tea called rooibos. I live like in the area of rooibos or redbush, although it's not called redbush, it's called rooibos. It comes from where I live. Um, <laughs> for those people in the States, ooh, it already smells nice. But I'm obsessed with fruit teas, so any kind of fruit teas. I don't remember what's in it. I can look it up on the website. Look, see, I'm very resourceful, you guys. Okay, so we have a tea blend of apple pieces, hibiscus petals, elderberries, sweet blackberry leaves, rose hip peel, natural flavoring, strawberry slices, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. And there's no caffeine and you get about six to eight servings of the packet which is really really cool and I'm very excited because I love fruit teas and I actually don't have any at the moment because for some reason the shops aren't stocking them so this is really exciting and then I have no idea what my candle is I do not remember so we're gonna be surprised together actually you know what I think I know what it is um, it has a very cute um, sticker. Let's not break the sticker. I actually really like the sticker. I don't know. Am I a professional YouTuber now? Can I do unboxings? It's like... There we go. Let's tear, tear around the sticker. But now how do you like get underneath the paper? Oh no. Yeah, I'm not so good at this. <laughs> oh, I didn't connect my mic, so I hope you can hear me fine. Anyways, more wrapping paper. Aha! Uh -huh. See, I don't re didn't remember choosing this. This is the currently reading candle. Can you not focus on my face? Damn it! There we go. Look at that. Currently reading. Ooh. I don't know what this is. I don't remember. I smell. I want to say vanilla and cinnamon, but like I could be so wrong. So let's go back to the website again because I cannot remember. This is. Ground coffee and caramel. Okay, so I was wrong. Although, did I say did I say it was coffee in it? No, I said cinnamon and vanilla. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So the kindly reading candle it smells very nice. 
Yeah, it smells like a hazelnut latte. I'm so stupid. Um, the candle is 100% or no, let me just double check for you. Yeah, 100% vegan soy wax and 100% pure cotton wick for a cleaner burn. Last item is the book. Great. Ooh, this is big. This is just one book, yeah. So, I chose a copy of Sea Witch Rising by Sarah Henning, which is the sequel to... Just Sea Witch, I think that's what it's called. Sea Witch. Um, which I have not read yet, but I really want to. I have the first book, and I thought, well, why not? Let me just get the sequel. Um, the first book is a reimagining or like an origin story to um, Ursula, so that's cool. And then the next one, I actually don't know if it's like about the Little Mermaid. It's apparently about the sister, and there's also a prince, so I'm not sure if it's the Little Mermaid, if it's sort of like a Forest of a Thousand Lanterns type thing. I haven't read that one yet, but get the point. Um, anyways, very excited about this one. So, in the box was my book, lovely tea and a candle and I am very very pleased it's really good value for money as well if you are from South Africa it is 380 rand as I mentioned and you can get the extra book and 380 rand is including shipping so it's 300 rand for all of those three things which is very good value for money so I highly recommend you check them out I will leave the website down below as well as the Instagram so you can go and be updated about all that sort of stuff Anyways, I think that is all. Maybe I should tell you about the books that I'm just reading. We'll be very quick because I see that this video is 10 minutes long already, so. I am currently reading An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I'm like, what's... 292 pages in. I was reading this like a week ago and then The Umbrella Academy. I binged the first two seasons. Took over my life this basically week. So I really need to get back to this one. I was reading it last week. Um, it's a reread for me, by the way. I, didn't, I haven't spoken about it yet, have I? No. We haven't gotten to like one of my favorite scenes yet. So, no, I think I'm just like prolonging it because I don't want to finish this book because emotions. Anyways, An Ember in the Ashes. Really, I think I'm going to try and finish it this weekend so that I can move on to something else. And then I also have With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I haven't started this one yet, but I really want to listen to the audiobook because it's narrated by the author. And whenever I watch like audiobook recommendation videos, people say you should listen to any of Elizabeth Acevedo's um, works on audio. So I thought maybe I should give it a go. Apparently it has like... Gilmore Girls vibes, which if you were watching my last weekly reading vlog, I was talking about watching Gilmore Girls, so I thought, this is kind of perfect. So yeah, with the fire on high. And then I still have these other two books from that same blog, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I was supposed to read this last month for the book club that I co-host, but I think we're going to carry on this book into August because we haven't chosen an August read yet, so I still have some time. I'm not going to linger too long on this one. I'm very excited for all the gay feels and just the beautiful writing. I just, I think I'm also mentally preparing myself to read this one. And also I don't want to read it like on a whim, like I want to take my time and go through it. So the start of sea. And then we still have Mirage on my shelf. So I need to get to this one too. Yes, this is a fantasy. So hoping that I can get to because all of these were mostly fantasies. So. Those are all the books. I hope that you found this video somewhat entertaining. Go check out uh, Right Time Crate. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. All my social media links will be linked down below. I would love if you stick ar stuck around and subscribed. And ooh, maybe I should ask you a question. What are you currently reading? If you don't know what else to comment, let me know and we can chat about that. I would love to. Or if you have read any of the books that I am thinking of picking up, then let me know what you thought of them down below but otherwise I shall leave you at that. We have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and happy reading. Okay cool.